Hello everyone, welcome to bmodeler.com, uh, myself Rajkumar. So I'm trying to do a uh, multiple uh, session of Dynamo and Revit families. We do BIM modeling services for architect and MAP engineers. So this is our website. Once this session is completed, you will be able to download uh, Dynamo script from this uh, website after logging in. So you can simply click in and we have few Dynamo scripts already. You can download it and you can try it yourself and learn it. So with that, let's move on to Revit. Let me discuss about the problems that we face. So uh, we had a project with uh, uh, with the engineer, so uh, with the engineering firms, uh, where they work with point layout. The point layout is a different software where they use it for the uh, design and uh, as built comparison of the fixtures. Uh, for example, lighting data or switches, whatever it is, they need to compare the points between the site and the, between the design model and they have to align it based on the available things. For that, they have n number of points and they have to tag actual points on those fixtures that's a problem uh, it, it will be like this this messy it's it's very less actually uh, whatever the example that i am showing it will be very messy if you are mixing uh, missing any fixtures uh, any tags they will be uh, they will not be able to uh, uh, see what is missing in the uh, later stage so for that reasons we need to identify what fixtures or what elements are missing the tags uh, that is one of the tasks we spend a lot of time manually sp uh, spending what element is missing the tags uh, in that reasons we we have gone so because we may align the tags but we may miss the elements beneath the uh, tags so it is important to see that what are the elements we are missing in the current view so for that reason we are going to create a dynamo script you can open the dynamo under the manage tab uh, which i have opened it already manage tab dynamo and you will be able to create a new script so uh, for this script it will be um, very simple let me check uh, once again the live stream uh, if you have uh, any uh, questions you can leave your commands i can address it in the next session if it is possible uh, or you can you can say simply uh, your name and where you're ch uh, chatting from uh, you can it will be more interactive for us and with that uh, let me move on to the session so for this uh, particular exercise uh, you may have to have uh, different packages uh, you can go and search for the packages which is uh, uh, a different package which is called uh, you can say this is will be uh, um, stem actually stem stem package uh, you needed and uh, design tech you needed so as i said i will be having this script in the website but to use the script you have to have uh, uh, these packages installed in your dynamo so you install make sure that you you are installing uh, these uh, nodes uh, these packages and uh, you will get those nodes stem So you get uh, these two nodes uh, packages and you will be able to uh, start from there. So the basically idea is that we have to get all the elements in the current view and we have to get all the uh, uh, available tags in the current view. We have to compare it. Once it is compared, we will be able to uh, get it uh, uh, out of the what elements are missing out the tags. So the basic thing is that what uh, element it is basically. So we going to go with the document current document. So I'm going to use a document from the document current and this node also we needed so I will take it at the same time. Okay. 
okay this node and we will be able to connect this one with the active view and we will be able to we are running in the automatic mode it may crash also we have to select and save the nodes into the uh, location that we needed um, missing tag element once this is saved and you will be able to go ahead and uh, we are going to find so because i have a lighting fixture so we can change this anytime so category selection i needed Uh, basically this is available as a uh, revit uh, category so we can go ahead and filter out also and basically we need uh, lighting fixtures and i like to copy control c and control v once because we have to find our uh, lighting fixture tags as well so i'm going to go ahead and uh, looking for a lighting fixture uh, tags okay in this regards uh, lighting fixture category we have to uh, use a, a node uh, stem node so which is a uh, collector basically this can be done manually uh, using uh, active views what are the elements are there we can do it um, but so the nodes will be pretty easy and pre uh, we can uh, easily use it collector dot uh, we are selecting the elements in the view so we can search elements Uh, it's going to be uh, selected by category we have to assign the category so i'm taking this note and this will be the view and this will be the category so once it is done we will be able to find how many uh, lighting fixtures are there in the view and once it is done we will be able to see that the list which is uh, complicated now make sure that the list is only one uh, out of uh, anything that comes out uh, for us it's it is uh, right now it is one it's not a problem and we can go ahead and with uh, search for uh, all the tags so for that uh, we need all elements um, of that uh, particular category so let me go ahead and uh, select it in the revit itself you can see go ahead and revit and selection and under this we will be able to see that all element by category we will be able to select this node so th from this category we are taking out all these elements so you can see it in the background uh, there is there are some tags it's showing you can go back to the element and see that what what is available here and coming back to this node we got all the nodes um, so we have to have a node which is called tag dot tagged element and we will be able to connect it this will give only the uh, what are the elements are tagged if the elements are uh, not uh, tagged it won't be shown in this list so only thing is now 23 we have ta uh, total lighting fixture and we have uh, 19 tagged elements now we have to filter out only the required elements which is filter now we needed so these all these scripts are going for a beginner uh, uh, for a beginner to understand and beginner to start with um, we are going by uh, one by one uh, and uh, we are taking it out so we are learning one by one 
so basically uh, we have a list of elements and uh, we have a condition what elements to be filter it out and once it is done we will be able to get it out uh, uh, what elements are uh, uh, filtered out so uh, still we have a problem that with the list and we can flatten the list Okay. Somehow this node is giving error. Let me go ahead and try um, elements in the selection view. okay i got it so we have to we are taking out only the directly element we are did not assign the conditions so we have to create a uh, node which called uh, list conditions we have to create list dot contains only this element if if these elements are contains we will be able to take it out uh, uh, So there are two things we are getting the list and we are giving the key and we will be able to uh, take it out only the list contain item. Now if I take this as so automatically when when we are not assigning any item so it will be considered as a, a condition to this this will be applied automatically to this one so the condition will be fulfilled and we will be able to see that uh, there are two lists which is created from this the list zero which is in uh, there are uh, 19 elements and the the remaining four elements which is not uh, uh, been tagged so we are getting it out of this element option so with this we will be able to go ahead and uh, select the elements uh, this node is it is coming from uh, uh, stem nodes so we we can go ahead and uh, selection select in view or you can directly filter it in this place and this is a custom node again and we will be able to click here and uh, add it here in this place but as you know that um, if you know uh, the, the dynamo itself it's showing, showing a green color icon so it's a element direct element when you click this icon it will automatically zoom into that place in the rivet automatically what elements are not tagged like this but it will be very difficult for us uh, if it is uh, finding all the elements one by one and tagging it. So that's the reason we need to have these tags uh, to nodes and we will be able to join that. And uh, once it is done and we will be able to select the particular uh, nodes or uh, the uh, particular elements into the scene.
so we need a true false for a refreshing purpose uh, boolean or we need it Okay, I can see that commands, uh, Mohan Fayez, uh, uh, I'm, I'm good, Mohan Fayez, and uh, Navy's work tutorial, yes, yes, it's it's long pending actually, so uh, I'm trying, I'm getting up myself and uh, started doing a uh, couple of uh, tutorials right now and uh, definitely i wish i wish to start uh, navy work tutorial uh, the structural uh, tutorials are uh, almost done which i am going to upload it one by one after that i am going to start with uh, navy work tutorial uh, mohammed so yeah mohammed fires yes the so ones uh, uh, the refresh is uh, true so we will be able to see that uh, in the rivet and there are uh, four elements which is selected in the bottom in the filter you will be able to see and filter it out and four elements and uh, in these four elements we with that we can go to the annotation tab and we will be able to uh, tag we can uh, go for tagging and we will be able to you know, tag it these elements are uh, not tagged or uh, tag all with uh, the selection with the selection go to the manual and run and uh, and this is the reason we need to refresh it we have to turn it off and turn it on true and false and uh, it will be selected in the background and go to the annotate and we will be able to go ahead and tag all uh, only selected object in the view uh, with the leader and the uh, lighting fixture tag apply so this is how we will be able to do it uh, uh, so this is a simple logic that we are uh, discussing actually uh, this can be uh, very useful when it comes uh, uh, for a for a uh, any other logics to be uh, utilized uh, if if a logic uh, you need it for any other elements to be selected uh, we can uh, work with that options yeah Uh, that's it uh, from me uh, that, that's it for this tutorial i will uh, look forward to the other tutorials and uh, uh, if any doubts or anything so you can leave your commands and we will be able to address it in the uh, uh, future time and uh, do subscribe be modeler and share it with your learning friends on linkedin uh, see you on the next tutorial thank you bye bye